Today, darlings, I'm going to take you to a place that we've never been outside. Today, we are going to travel the wild roads and burrows of Braunschweig. We're going to see strange things. We're going to meet people, possibly. We're going to eat things that we've never eaten before, possibly. Uh, it's, uh, it's gonna be a wild ride, and so I invite you to come along with me, and we shall be proceeding in a moment. First visit of the day, the Geld Automat. Uh, it's an ATM where you take out money, and it asks you what language you speak. It's very nice, so. Uh, need some money to go on this trip. So that's what I know. So here we are at the bus and tram stop. There are many of these, uh, right, right, of course, the ad for Google Chrome as well, but uh, this is, uh, the trains always run on time in Germany, and, uh, and so this is what we use to get around. Uh, there are a lot of stops kind of right here because this is sort of the main uh, strip to go downtown, so it's kind of all surrounding me here, but, um, but yeah, so this is what we do. We hop a little train, so uh, I'm going to do that in a minute. And this is called the Residenz Schloss, uh, which is the Ducal Palace. It's pretty big. Um, there's a library on the far end. This is kind of the main entrance. And then as we scan around, this is a museum on this end. It's the Museum of the Ducal Palace itself, which was built in the 19th century. Apparently it held a duke. I don't know. Uh, that's what I'm guessing from the name. And uh, when the town was bombed in World War II, uh, it was flattened almost, uh, and then it was completely demolished in the 60s because it was apparently a little dangerous to be around. And then uh, in 2007, they decided to rebuild the facade and put inside a mall. Yes, darlings, a mall. There's a Starbucks right through that door <laughs> and I've already been inside so don't you worry um, yeah so uh, interesting interesting place so I'm going to uh, film a little bit of the mall inside um, also standing outside are these uh, huge that's right uh, they're horses um, pretty big oh probably Seeing that one might be even better, really. Um, but uh, but yeah. So uh, going inside now. And here we are inside of the mall uh, that we were just outside of. There, many things in here, just as you would expect from a mall. The body shop is here. Jana Graf, the body shop is here. Um, many things to see and do. Um, and I walked around here for a long, long time. Um, didn't buy anything. <laughs> so, next we're going to uh, a more artistic place. Here's a little bit better shot of the horse dude. Apparently Herzog Friedrich Wilhelm. Alright, ode to, ode to Herzog. This is the Ritzy House. Uh, this was created by a New York artist. Uh, James Ritzy, uh, sometime I think in the 60s, but you know, I can't exactly remember. You're supposed to be able to wander through it. It's a sculpture, so I'm gonna try that right now. So apparently, there's uh, some offices and things like that in there, and I don't know if I can actually get in there. It's like four o'clock or so. Uh, on a Saturday and a lot of things kind of close up a lot of the museums do anyway so we're gonna give the Ritzy house a second try maybe tomorrow or the next day okay so if you're feeling a little medieval so am I um, so here we've got uh, one of the one of the churches kind of right here let me back up a little bit well wrong way I'll get the hang of this one day all right sweet Okay, so kind of got one of the really old churches right here and kind of spinning around. This is a little kind of a little square kind of a place where people, you know, it's called the Fußgänger Zone um, and cars aren't allowed. 
Um, over there you'll see some cars, uh, but uh, this right here, uh, no cars go here. Um, so, very interesting. Um, some park benches where people sit, apparently, in the summertime. <laughs> Not necessarily right now, because it's a little cold outside. But you can, I just love this architecture. I mean, check this out, right? It's like, nothing's really square. <laughs> Things are kind of, you know, leaning, but it's, it's stood for so long. I just love this stuff. I could do this all day. And somebody has offered me the opportunity to, apparently, as well. So, that's interesting. But, um, but yes, let's just, uh, let's come see this church. Let's just come see boy, which one it is. There are a lot of them. Okay. So, apparently, got some church announcements here. Fabulous, fabulous. Kirka St. Magni. Maybe? Magni? I don't know. But stay tuned because I'm going to visit the inside, not today, <laughs> so I don't think it's open, but soon. Okay. This is what I was talking about, uh, the Fußgänger zone um, with bikes, but apparently only women and children can uh, be here. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> um, at least those wearing dresses, which they're going to kick me out. This is down the street a little bit. And uh, again, I'm just fascinated with the architecture here. Uh, sort of the half-timbered look uh, all along this street. Uh, the half-timber, I think, meaning those lines, those thick lines like you can see on that uh, building right there. Sort of reminds me, actually, <laughs> confirm this, sisters, but I think it's, it reminds me of Grandma's house a little bit, uh, oddly enough. Um, but this is, uh, this is walking down the street in Germany. Uh, but I won't walk because I don't have, you know, my steady cam equipment. So that's what I know. This... Ah, this is a uh, more of that half timbered look in in a part of town that's not quite as well kept up. It's really kind of interesting the textures and stuff. And what I really wanted to point out was this building directly in front of me. How's that being held up? Um, <laughs> It's the buildings around it. Uh, gotta love that land. Here's where I spent a good long while gathering things that I needed, like uh, soap. So uh, we'll go over all the purchases later. Just wanted you to see where it was. Now heading back. So this is the same town. <laughs> it's just really odd. The mix of uh, new and old. It's really interesting actually. I mean, I kind of like it, but it takes a little bit of getting used to. So that's And here we are once again. Uh, here's like the second Starbucks in town that I was able to locate. There's only one on the map though, so uh, so here it is. Um, I love this place, and uh, I might stop in just to rest my feet a little.